Greetings, 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 and a welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you. Feels like I've been gone for such a long time instead of just a week, and we were together just a week ago. So for those of you who are just tuning in, welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about sleep. I'm going to be talking about insomnia and before I even go further um, I am gifting you a beautiful audio recording with my voice to help you sleep deeply and if you text sleep to 818-221-2797 by all means you will get a gift from me the audio recording to sleep deeply and enjoy a wonderful good night's rest so thank you for being here i <sighs> seems like this month is flying by and it, it's so good to see all these people out and about um i walk outside and see it's like life is moving life is around us and uh there is all these people moving about not only in cars but walking in restaurants and everywhere it's like you know we are part of the living actually we've always been part of the living except uh, many look at the downfalls of things versus the positive having a positive outlook and positive mindset and for that i want to say what we think is what creates internally physically mentally and emotionally so please i am here today i want to have a, a conversation of how how do you cope with lack of sleep what happens when you cannot sleep so insomnia is one of the things that we are um seeing so much happening nowadays because of not only internet and um clubhouse which has become taken over for so many of you who happen to have an iphone or an ipad uh, clubhouse has become this place that everyone has come because it's so auditory and it's 24 7 and you don't even have to show up in a makeup you don't have to do anything unlike facebook or going live it is the biggest thing that it's also affecting so many with their sleep so <laughs> you know it's like I'm not addicted to anything but now I'm addicted to being on all the time because you can be connected to everything and if in the past we thought being connected was a disconnect now we are doing everything to find a place of managing and having a balance a balance of a healthy lifestyle balance of a healthy relationship balance of a healthy work space workload so i take it upon myself and allow me to share this just a few nights ago i could not sleep because of something that was in my mind and i was mulling over it tossing and turning and it only took me like about five to ten minutes and when i shut the phone the first thing i do before i go to sleep i truly shut the phone down it's on silent it's on vibrate and it's on my nightstand away from my bed away from this energy of my sleep pattern sleep energy where it's truly our bed is sacred your bed is sacred to you so that's where you literally allow yourself to roll over hug your pillow or if you have a partner hug your partner and drift into that state that you give permission to your body to rejuvenate 
and that every nerve and every muscle, every organ, every tissue in your body takes this time when you are not functioning to heal, to mend, to, yeah, rejuvenate. And all the cells are building everything. Not that they're not building while you're functioning. And yet, but our daily routine, our daily life can truly be stressful. And stress is the number one culprit, the trigger that does not allow us to sleep a good night's sleep. And I know so many who say, you know what, I, I can sleep just like that. Hi, Sadojan. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. Today we're talking about sleep and insomnia and how we can cope with it. And I'm going to give you some tools and techniques so that you can sleep better. So here's another benefit. Sleep, a good night's sleep between six to eight hours. It boosts your immune system. It also helps your mental well-being. And I'm going to go back to what I did, uh, the a part of the tools and techniques that helped me sleep better. Uh, did you know that a good night's sleep also helps with your mind uh, to uh, even your brain function? So many don't even know that. Um, of course, a good night's sleep, it helps us with longe longevity. It helps us with just doing a time out. Time out for the body to heal and to reconnect. A good night's sleep, for those of you who did not know, it can also boost fertility. Yes, yes. Um, I mean, so many gynecologists and doctors don't share that. So in for those who cannot conceive, ladies who cannot conceive, and I have worked with so, uh, so many women who have had either self-limiting beliefs or could not uh, had insomnia it's like why is this not happening i uh um i'm doing everything to conceive it, it's not happening it so let me say this no matter what it is that we want to create it doesn't matter if it is work if it is sleep if it is uh, dropping weight and shedding the weight and if you want to achieve anything anytime you want to achieve anything and if you constantly uh, mull over it get more anxious of why something is not happening because your full concentration is on not happening guess what that not happening precedes anything else it's like a um unfulfilling prophecy that i am concentrating on i don't i didn't make enough money this month i didn't do this it didn't happen so as long as we are concentrating on it didn't work guess what it will not work but if we allow things and give it direction to happen like it's 11 30 I'm gonna go to bed and it's time for sleep it's time for sleep so in a way I am making a declaration I am telling my mind and my body it is time for sleep then when I go to bed it becomes that or you can do all the things you want to do in bed and then roll over and say time to sleep so allow me to give you all the benefits of sleep and then we'll talk about all the things that deter us from sleep and then tools how you can sleep better so another one was weight gain did you know that a good night's sleep regulates your body so if you lack sleep or you have poor uh, sleep patterns 
it's your body holds on to weight for whatever reason so it prevents you from dropping weight so another one is heightened creativity you cannot be functioning fully and be creative in everything if you are constantly drifting into that sleep state because your mind and body need the rest uh, a good night's sleep also reduces inflammation yep and i'm sure you have heard about how it helps with rejuvenating your skin uh, it, it makes us feel younger rested uh, it, even children when they wake up they feel refreshed if you wake up and you go ah so so here's the things some of the things that stop us from having a good night's sleep stress your mind is going round and about round and about thinking of all the things you need to do or how to solve some problems really that's one of the things we go through it not feeling safe is also one of the biggest biggest triggers for so many who cannot sleep because you're on guard you feel like um, one ear is either at the door or listening for new moms they're always on guard listening for the newbie for the new baby crying needing to change the diaper because they awake they come to full awakeness every few hours it's just like having a new puppy in the house and of course a puppy you can put them aside but even they cry or a new kitten and I didn't want to say only puppy for those of you who are cat lovers so that is being on guard it's like drifting into sleep and then coming to full conscious awareness and this in itself after a while can wear you down it wears your body down and that's why moms who hold the baby while they're breastfeeding they go into sleep and they learn through experience that when the baby sleeps they take nap also that's why a lot of things are put aside until the baby goes to sleep so children with colicies um, they wake mom up and that all all of that ha, it works to be dyslexic I can read it backwards I can talk backwards yeah really so um, that's one of the things that is a negative thing about me and yet I think it's a positive thing you see even something that others may think it is a downfall I have learned that my downfall of being dyslexic which I can shift numbers I can see things back backwards and sometimes I even speak the other way around is I can turn it into saying that it is one of my strengths I can read things on a mirror backwards far more faster and see puzzles in a different way so in life it's how you approach things and those who have back on sleep night shift sleep patterns change parents sleep pattern change when you are under stress and duress to deliver something in the morning you have a test you have something that a presentation for those of you who work and know that or you have to uh, deliver a speech you go over it over it over it all the time and that also creates worry worry is negative now here's one of the things you can do I would love to know what you do and how you cope with insomnia 
one of the things you can do is compartmentalize. You know, we order our brain to function, but we forget to command our brain to sleep. Because sleep is such a natural state. Everything goes to sleep. Flowers do, plants do, animals do, human beings do. We all go to sleep. We must sleep in order for this incredible body of yours to function for you, right? To rejuvenate every cell, every nerve, every organ. So here's one thing you can do. Compartmentalize. And the things that you can handle, the things that you must deal with, work on it until that moment that you are ready to sleep. Um, and then command your body. I will put this, compartmentalize it until tomorrow morning, six hours from now. And for the next five to six hours, I give myself permission and my body to shut down, to rejuvenate and to relax me. And then everything you need to either memorize or you need to work on, you do it until that very moment. And then put everything aside. Put your mind. It's as if the same way as your journal. Remember, your mind, your body does everything to work for you, not against you. So it's there to support you, right? And by doing so, your body also wants to help you be the best version of you, believe it or not. Your heart, your brain, your psyche, your uh, emotions, everything works together. So, you say, putting aside, just like journaling, when you close that and you put the pen or you put your iPad, everything, you shut that thing down, you close it, you put it on silent or you turn it off, you do the same thing with your mind because that's exactly what it is. It's like another machine. So you must put it on silent mode and say, for the next four hours, for the next six hours, for the next eight hours, I'm doing a shutdown. Close? Okay. And until tomorrow morning at six o'clock or eight o'clock, or if it is five o'clock, you wake up for whatever reason, if it is for exercise and everything, I am going into silent mode. I'm going into that quiet place. Thank you. Good night. And that's where you shift it. Because until tomorrow morning, until then, you already gave all that information to your subconscious mind and to your body to do the work for you. Believe it or not, sometimes the best ideas come to us early in the morning. Why? Because you gave your body and your subconscious to do the creative work for you, to analyze and judge and create all this. That's what dream state is. Sometimes we get the best information as if our dream talks to us and gives us the direction. And solves all the things that you could not solve and you were so adamant about it and you just could not do. And then you even stressed about it. Instead of allow yourself to be in flow state, shut down, put a lid on it, and go to sleep. Now if you have a partner you want to hug, by all means, sleep. If you have to make love, by all means, enjoy sleep. And for those of you, that bed is not a good place. And I am speaking exactly to you, my specific listener. That even being in that place, in that room, triggers you. I want you to find a way so that you can heal and rejuvenate in a safe space. And that could be 
taking a nap in your car. Taking a nap, no matter where you are, as long as you are safe. And making sure that every essence of you gives yourself permission to take time out. Because walking on eggshells it's also distracting and creating this incredible high energy that disrupts your sleep pattern, your healing, you finding a balance within yourself. To be mentally, physically, and emotionally up to par to deal with everything that you need to be focused on. So here are some of the tools and the techniques other than compartmentalize is make sure that you always find time, take time to take, even if it is one hour, full on naps, do so. By all means, you can text 818-221-2797, text sleep, and I am gifting you a half an hour deep sleep audio recording so that by listening to this not only you drift into that state of relaxation and then drift deeper into a enjoyable sleep because the audio recording that I have recorded half an hour of deep sleep for you can be equivalent of three hours of moderate rest and that's all you need to do so if you are on guard for something make sure that you find a way or get a support system that you can count on to be watchful while you sleep another thing that you can also do is know that the inhibitions the guards that you have put upon yourself you can also improve your life and reality so that you can gain that wellness drinking something like a melatonin like milk uh, a yogurt if you can have a dairy uh, even my, my my dad used to do this. He would have a, a small little half a cup of ice cream or yogurt. And within half an hour, he was drowsy enough to go to sleep. You can lis listen to calm music and then go to sleep. Those are tools and techniques that will help you sleep. One thing I would suggest is never ever count sheep or count something. Because as long as you are counting, you are allowing this mind of yours to work. It is working for you. So become one with your breath. And as long as you are just with your eyes closed, just shutting down all the things you no longer need to see because it's time for you to sleep. First, you give permission to go to sleep. Second is you ask your mind to compartmentalize and deal what is necessity tomorrow or six hours later because everything that you could have done you've already done and your good enough must be good enough for you. Third, instead of smoking something drinking something or some people take pills and you put all the numbing things to shut down your nerves and it may affect other things find the ways that naturally you can sleep and that is your breath work becoming one with each and every breath and as long as you're concentrating on your breath it's like validating yourself and the sound of your breath or the sound of someone next 
to you, or even the sound of a hummingbird, knowing that you are part of nature is the most beautiful thing that you can do for yourself. And your body knows that as a natural thing and you can go to sleep. So giving yourself permission, removing all the mental limitations that hold you from an enjoying a deep sleep because you have made that decision and it's a decision, it's a choice to sleep. So to accomplish this important thing is a task that frees you to drift into that state, go into that dream state, go into that place of creativity. And instead of alcohol, that it's an antidepressant, it shuts you down, but it's not the beautiful sleep. And writing and then closing, some people read book, some people have to watch TV. Do whatever works for you. But if it is a TV or anything, it must have a time that clicks because you don't want things like that, that it's in the background to be influencing your REM sleep. You want your entire psyche yourself to be rejuvenating, healing you, not what's on a telephone, on a TV or their messages to be your messages, if that makes sense. So with that, I want to see if there's any questions. There are no questions and it's okay. Do you have any questions? Oh, I am right here to answer any questions by all means. Thank you for being here. Um, I come to you every week. And one of the things, what prompted today's message was, I had some, uh, I had an email saying that because of my anxiety, I cannot sleep. Well, anxiety, sleep also creates anxiety. When we are stressed about the things that we are worried about things and we are on guard, it's hard to sleep. So I hope today's message of the things you can do, the tools, that you have in your home within you your breath work and instead of counting that you can just close your eyes become one with each and every breath and giving pers uh, your body permission to sleep are one of the things that you can do so No matter where you are, be safe. And I hope that no matter where you are tossing and turning, that you can just hug your pillow and drift into that state. You see, we drift into a state before we go into deep sleep. I gave this uh, uh, analogy many, many years ago, actually a long time ago, when I was a little girl. My parents, I, I was not a good sleeper. So my mom was awake all the time. And in order for me to sleep, my parents used to put me in the back of the car and drive and drive until I would fall asleep. So I think this motion of the car going and going and going you know it's the same thing that when we put a child and we cradle moms do this and then do this right this motion is something that it becomes um the motion that helps us sleep so years later after i got my driver's license my mom would always worry about me and say, it's like, are you going to be okay driving or are you going to fall asleep? 
because the moment I would get into the car, even today, if I am in the back of the car and I trust the driver, I know I am safe. If there is no one for me to have a conversation, I can drift into sleep just like that. Why? Because that has become a part of my sleep pattern, right? That's why being on that boat or this gliding thing for me is so easy to sleep. Um, so when we do suggestions as hypnotherapists, uh, we use the affirmations and everything and then the visualization of a hammock for sleep. Just this beautiful hammock, knowing that you are safe, that it's only one leg over and you can just step over and stand up. That also brings a grounding and a hammock that is connected to huge trees or the two metals that the hammock also supports your body in itself. It creates a trust. You see, everything that is being suggested, a good hypnotherapist will make sure that you are connecting and resonating with those suggestions that you are safe and grounded and feel comfortable with the suggestions and where you are so a hammock is so powerful because when we are uh, in a hammock we're also imagining ourselves in a beautiful place maybe a breeze, the sun from the background or above, and that you feel cozy and warm, right? Because those are the images we have of a hammock. And that becomes embedded in your psyche, in your subconscious. Even that and the tonality and what you imagine becomes what is the best imagery for you to hone in, take in, listen in, and drift into deep sleep. So I wish you all the best. And tonight, when you hug your pillow, and when, for those who do the prayer, you do that, also say thank you to this incredible body of yours that houses you, supports you, protects you, your heart, that it's loving and open, and your mind, your sound mind, that is always there to bring you true full awakeness and alertness when needed. This is Lisa. Thank you for being here and tuning in to Heal Talk Tuesdays. If there is anything I can be of help to you or for those you know, by all means, send me a message, give me a call. I offer a 15 minute consultation and I am here to be of service. Until next week, I bid you goodbye. Thank you so much. It is true that lack of sleep negatively affects weight. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Thank you, Sedaja, and thank you, Adrian, and thank you for all of you that were here, present, and for those of you who are watching on the replay. Hashtag replay, hashtag any questions, I am here for you. Goodbye, God bless you, and may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye.